Hi lovelies, Lisa here from Mindful Tarot and I just felt like doing a quick uh, video today, a little unboxing video, which um, I've never really done and I'm actually taking very much to heart um, the comments on my video about the VR to Anya's Tarot Addicts Anonymous video um, by Astro Earth who uh, points out in a way that I think is really important um, how we should be responsible in our videos, um, just the ways in which we can encourage kind of tarot, tarot lust, tarot addiction, consumption, overconsumption, um, kind of being sucked into the vortex of wanting more, 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 that sort of samsaric churn and burn of greed and desire and trying to fill the void. Um, but I wanted to do this unboxing because um, it is a um, deck that I found on eBay and it's really quite an example of the ways in which this kind of impulsive shopping happens. Um, it wasn't very much money. The whole thing with shipping was $20. Um, so it's not that I can't afford that. Um, but I found myself buying um, uh, Brian Williams' uh, Renaissance Tarot deck, which is not even a deck that I have been looking for, um, but was a deck that I was thinking was out of print. However, it's been reissued by U.S. Games. Um, and I had um, on my eBay feed, um, I have vintage tarot as something that, you know, prompts me uh, a, a, a search that I'm following. And this popped up, and I saw the price was really amazing. It's like $14 plus shipping, and I thought, wow, they don't know what they have. So, you know, this sense that we have of, oh, I'm going to get the bargain. I'm going to get the amazing thing. I'm going to, like, just zoom in, and, and um, something really special will happen. And I know something, and they, they don't. Um, so I'm not sad I bought this deck. I've, I've had in my book collection um, something I bought used a, a while ago, his uh, Renaissance Tarot, the uh, companion volume to this. And I mean, he's, he was so knowledgeable about Renaissance art, and I study the Renaissance. That's my, one of my um, research fields. So, you know, really for me, trying to explore all of those connections between the emergence of, of the tarot and uh, Renaissance Neoplatonism and Renaissance um, Italian art, um, really interested in the connections between um, Petrarch's, um, Petrarch's poetry, uh, his triomphi, and the um, kind of cultural milieu that gave rise to the Trumps. All this stuff is really interesting to me. So Brian Williams, he's been in my mind for a while, but I, you know, the artwork that I've seen online for his deck, um, it hasn't really appealed to me that much. But, you know, eBay, Impulse, the iPhone in hand, the button gets pushed, PayPal gets charged, and here's the deck. So, this unboxing is, uh, you know, I'm kind of excited, um, but I'm also really just um, conscious of the example to myself, which this deck will always demonstrate, of that kind of impulsive consumerism. So, um, I knew the box would be a little bit damaged. The cards are supposed to be in good shape. And package this in uh, bubble wrap and a nice box. And so uh, the damage to the box um, definitely preceded it coming to me. So um, now this deck, I think, was published first in 88. I could be wrong. Um, I don't know. I don't know how vintage this is. I know that this particular version was printed by A.G. Muller and C. in Sweden. I mean, Sweden, Switzerland. Slight difference there. Um, so let's see. Okay, the little white book looks like it's in good shape. Let's see if there's any. It's a little bit yellowed, so. So copyright 1987, it looks like it's, uh, I'll have to ask my husband, knows a lot about books, he's a book dealer. So uh, this 
these numbers here can often indicate whether something, um, what printing run it is, not necessarily, but but that might indicate that it's a later printing, so not, you know, first issue. Not that that necessarily matters. Um, cardstock is really nice. I haven't even checked to see how many videos there are about this deck online. Um, I'd be shocked if this is in order, but here's the publisher card. And Two of Cups. Three of Cups. So this is sort of a moderately illustrated deck. It's clearly not in order. Well, I have to say in person, I'm liking the artwork more than I thought it I would. I like the softness of the coloring, the kind of uh, uh, what do I want to say? The kind of almost sense of, of gilding. Um, this is um, a deck that I think is um, less heteronormative than most tarot decks, which is nice. Um, very lovely kind of depictions of human form. You know, sort of this echo of 15th century, 16th century art and mythology. I haven't studied this deck at all. As I said, you know, I, I, it hasn't been even been on my wish list, really. Um, and I have no way of knowing at this point I, how, because you can, you can get this deck in a new version. The looks like the art on the box is different than uh, than the original box. Slightly, the coloring looks different in the, I think, in the reissued version. I don't know if the cardstock is different. I'm assuming it's no longer printed in Switzerland because um, I believe US Games doesn't print in Switzerland anymore. I don't know if that's accurate. Some of you may, I'm sure a lot of you know more about this than I do. So, here you have it. Have no idea if it's if it's complete. It's supposed to be complete. Male strength card. Yeah. Your male's the, the the lion's mouth is awfully close to delicate portions of the anatomy. Um. So. You know, I have a deck that I wasn't particularly looking for that's not particularly valuable, that's not particularly scarce, <laughs> that I leapt to impulsively thinking that there was something on eBay that was a bargain. I'm actually waiting. I will do at least one more unboxing in my life as a YouTuber. So, um, about something that I'm quite special, perhaps, that I'm waiting for that I uh, purchased from Etsy, um, also uh, a used deck. Um, but in general, I think, um, I mean, I enjoy watching unboxing videos, but I, I think Astro Earth, um, I think her point, as I take it, is really, really valuable. And that is that we can um, encourage each other to consume, consume, consume. Um, and we can also encourage each other to enjoy um, what we already have. I um, have really appreciated um, Kasia Atafalorota's um, uh, videos where she and others' videos where they've shared um, items that they want to trade or give away or sell. Um, and she's got one right now. I'll, I'll make a link to that that she just posted, I think, yesterday. Um, so that's kind of an interesting way to work within the economics of desire. Um, uh, 
yeah, it's funny. I, I, I love that we share our treasures and yet earth. Um, yeah, how do we do so responsibly and with joy and a, and a sense of abundance and not working from, um, uh, or not working to kind of enhance and increase um, the suffering of, of um, desire, not, not uh, releasing our inner golems um, about all of our precious, precious um, little objects. Anyway, so now I have Brian Williams' <laughs> Renaissance Tarot. Didn't really particularly want it, didn't particularly really need it. I, I will, the, it is important, I mean, I think he's an important, was an important figure, very important figure in uh, contemporary tarot uh, culture. This book, I think, is a good book. Um, I haven't, uh, I've only read at it. I haven't read through it. Um, the artwork, I think, is pretty. Um, this is, a, I don't think, a, a deck that I will end up working with. Um, but it was a lesson learned in resisting the little buttons and the little eBay impulsions impulsions that's not a word anyway you know what i mean um okay um that's all for now <sighs> peace love take care